So you look at you look at that. The, the wood's broken there, and it's mm. quite yeah. quite a darkish wood. But yeah. like I say it's, it's soul. You can't tell. So uh, it's fair to say that um, it appears to be mahogany type. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's only because it's because the colour. Yeah. See, so you look, you look at this way. It's been chipped, and it's uh, you get the impression it's a it's different colour. Though, it's light. It? It's lighter, which yeah. would say it's not. You can't really see any grain in it though at all, can you? Can't on, yeah, can't on, can't on no. that one. No. Mm. Okay. Are you ready to look at another? Yeah. Can I just see if there's another loose lid one then? And see if there's. Well, they're actually slightly better quality. The ones I looked at had sort of flat bits as well because they were turned bigger? from smaller bits of wood. Well, I'm not sure. Look, well, there's mine. Oh, yeah. Based on the other set, they're very right. close. Though so that is, it's smaller yep. than your and these are, later mm. one. These got leather on, haven't they? Yeah. Now, that's, that's what we wondered. Do you think that that is leather? If so, where's the stitching? Uh, where are the seams? Is it glued? I wonder about a kind of tarring. Mm -hmm. it seems like the surface is lifting mm. off. But you yeah, see how this, on this, this here, you see that sharp, that lip there, that, mm. the shoulder on that, whereas this one here, you see how it's almost kind of rippled up and then smoothed into the edges like a papier mache type thing? Yeah. Mm. Well, it could be tarred. Mm. Yeah. See how that one's all peeling apart? Mm. Yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah. It's almost like it looks like the bark's coming off, yeah. doesn't it? So yeah. Same now this, look at that lid there. What do you think beach for that or something? Well, different, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Just looking at the end of that one, it mm. looks. Um, now look at the styling I did from last time to mm. the lid, based on the other set. So it's very similar, isn't it? The one that I've made there. Mm. Um, you know, um, from the styling of the different set. But you don't know if the sets have been mixed up as well. Do you see that's got sort of like a flat side to it? Some of them look like they've been turned out of a piece of wood that weren't quite Broke big enough. Big enough, yeah. yeah. And the other set is notably like that. They probably haven't brought that up, actually, because I looked at that one last time very closely and measured it all. But, but you can see the same effect on that one there. Mm. So it looks to me as though this set is very similar to the others or the same, you know, mixed up from the same set. I don't know. Yeah, but mine looks very much the same. But it'd be interesting to know what these flaky bits are that you're talking about there as well, wouldn't it? You know, mm. what is that? But you'll see no leather seam on it or anything. And um, if we can find one that looks like a lid will come off easily and it's not well, flaky there's, there's like There's one there that's one. already off. Where, where this one? No, no. This one? No, that one. No, no, one next one. This one here, yeah. Mm. Is that one all right? And these are being strung differently, haven't they? They've got the string wrapped around. Yeah, yeah but they've still got the... The, the belt like thing. that, yeah. And then if we look in here, I'm very conscious of this flakiness on the side, so mm. I don't want to affect that, but you're right, somebody's taken the lid off that one before. Well, what do you think about that? Uh, see, that to me is a very sort of ungrainy wood again, isn't it? Mm. I mean, could that be a, a kind of lime wood, do you think? You know, mm. as a, you know. Sometimes I wonder if he does use any old wood that well, I'm sure. Across. I'm sure they would. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, what I want to do is reproduce something like what they had. You see, I know I can't be 100% without having tested on them. Got this yeah. curving here, slightly yeah. curved in on the. Beginning. Yes, yes. I'm doing that on mine as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But it's what that coating is. That's the problem. Can you see the coating coming away from there? Mm. That uh, looks again bored. With that lid, doesn't it? There's well. No, or is it all the spikes being broken off? That's the other. Mm. 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 That might have been turned because it's if you look, because it's got because the, the bottom's radiused. Mm. Uh. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You know, somebody's going into the boring tool and yeah. it's, it's radius. Yes. Yeah. If it's been if it's been yeah. Uh, yeah. been drilled out. Yeah. Can you see with your flat. your light in that one, Tony? And see yeah. what it says. See what it says on that. Well, I know. I'm trying to. I'll lean there. I think I'm just trying to get it still. That's all. Can you see? No, it's it's a bit, bit more that way. sitting as opposed to leaning over because yeah, you're in an awkward so. position there. Yeah, Is that better? Yeah. Move it towards that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Ready? Yeah. See that looks. Yeah. There's no pip in the middle. No? No. Yeah. But that that is definitely much bigger at the bottom. 
is it? That's you definitely been hollowed. Yeah, so it's been turned. Still yeah. You, you had a curator here one so time, Jane, um, called Blackwood. Not really. And he wrote a book called Arms and Armour. Uh, David Blackmore. David Blackmore, sorry, yes. Yeah. And, um, uh, and he drew a diagram of these bottles. Mm -hmm. And since then, they've been reproducing them on the basis of his diagram. Oh, right. okay. And they're all a straight bore. They're all showed as drilled. So everyone else who makes these for reproduction purposes are um, boring them mm. with a drill mm. instead of turning them internally. Yeah. And in order to get the capacity, I found that you have to um, turn them and you mm. have to hollow them inside. Mm. And, um, and it's a kind of, I know it's only a small revolution, revelation with the bandoliers and things, but it's something that's never been known previously. Mm. And yet the instruction says to turn and not bore. Mm. But all the historians that have looked at these things have never known the difference between the two. Interesting. Yeah. So turning will enable you to hollow, but boring won't. It only enables a straight parallel bore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're okay. you ready then? Yeah. yeah. So for the record, what, what we've done then is we've taken these calipers here, taken them down to there and measured the, the wall length there, yeah, brought the calipers out and reset them. Um, on the, the verniers here, the digital verniers, and worked out that this wall length inside here is what? What did you say then? About four and a half millimetres. Four and a half millimetres, the wall there. So bearing in mind that it's four and a half there, that width of that wall there, that's probably about two to two and a half, yeah? So that's only about two millimetres thicker, and that looks about 30 mil, yeah? Whereas that will be about 16, won't it? Yeah. So we'll measure those exactly, mm. but that's a significant bore inside there, isn't it? Oh, really? yeah. So it really is. That's nine, that's nine off. Yeah, well, nine I mean, off I mean, 30. I, mean, roughly I bet you that'll be 30. 32. 32, that one, is it? Okay. Yeah. Well, nine, so that's even wider than the others, yeah. So yeah. you take nine off um, 32, and we're up to, what are we up to? 23. 23, yeah, 23. So 23 down there. 23 from, and I bet you that's about 16. Yep, about 12. That's 12. Oh, sorry, mine are 11. I was thinking about the outside, yeah, yeah. but that's, so it's going from 12 down to 23. 23. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a significant you, you opening, isn't it? You can see it, it just looking down at it. Yeah, it yeah, out. yeah, okay. That gives us an idea, because they're doing that for an obvious reason, it would have been so much easier just to uh, to bore that, wouldn't it? Yeah. So the only reason why they would want to do that and give the instruction, really, that it's turned and not bored, is so that there's a capacity to take a certain charge. Otherwise, why waste the time? And when you look at the poor quality of the turning of some of these, this one isn't good, why would you go to all the extra trouble of doing that? Because mm. it takes me to, to turn that out about 20 minutes. That's a lot of extra work. Now, I know that can maybe be done quicker, but even if it was five minutes, the, the turners were given um, jobs to produce 6,000 sets of these, 6,013s, you know. I mean, that, I know that's a maximum order, but the minimum I saw was for 800, you know. So why go to all that trouble to do that? It's got to be for the capacity for the charge, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. OK. Well, that's very interesting. Um, now, yeah, this is very yeah, similar in size. Bigger, the one way. OK. The... Um, the spout um, ledge here, if you like, where it becomes yeah. the bottle. Yeah, the, the this bit here. See that bit there? Oh, yeah, that one. I can't see that yeah. far. Can't you? No, which bit? That bit there. What about? Yep. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's very technical here. Yeah. Mm, 21. 21. These are quite different from the European ones, actually. These um, much more different than mine before. Anyway, the um, the um, where the um, that same measurement where it hits the, the first collar down below it, yeah. The diameter of that. Well, just above where the string goes through. Yeah, yeah. Well, not not the collar where it's the internal part of the collar. You know the inner part. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Oh right. Well, yeah, that's so it's it's I mean that's the same, isn't it? Yeah. Because the other one was twenty-one. I'm just going to put that down as twenty-one. Yeah. The the collar itself. Well, the, 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 the first, the, the bottom collar, the one below where you just marked, yeah. Or well, the big diameter. The, yeah, all the way around the outside of that. Yeah, sorry, yeah, that one, yeah. Uh, yeah. 35. 35, that's spot on the uh, European one. Yeah, the Bavarian one. Um, and the, the inside of that collar as well. The small diameter. Yeah, sorry, yes. Yeah. Well, that's also 20, 24, 25. 24, it's 24. Oh, to be that spot on my turning is in that spot one anyway. <laughs> the um, the bottle diameter just below the collar. Wow. It's things it's it's, it's, it's the same if, if you look at it, it's tapering out from yeah. from the top right to the bottom. Ah, right, okay. So it's continuous taper. 
So but we would say really that where it hits the, the collar would be about the same as it is on the neck, just yeah. above the collar. Yeah. Twenty one. Again, lovely. Yeah. No, I mean that's what I've got before, that's what that sounds like. Twenty one. On there. Okay. Um, moving down to the bottom of the bottle to the most bulbous part before it starts to curl in at the bottom. Yeah. Does that make sense, right? Yeah, yeah. thirty one, I think. 31, yeah, yeah minus 30 mil, so that's about right. They're always slightly different, like I said before. Right, okay, now the um, uh, the internal diameter of the bore inside the lid should be about 16 mil, mine is, and the European one is as well. Yeah. 16 mil? Yeah. yeah. 16 mil inside there, yeah. okay. And now you took the measurements before of the collar on top of the lid. Yeah. Would be 16. 16. And the collar itself? What, Dan? No, sorry, the, the width from the bottom of the lid to... Oh, I could work that out, couldn't I? So it's 20... No. 8 mil from 16, so that will be... Oh, yeah. Um, is that an 8 of it, though? It's about 8. That's 28. So 16. Oh, that would make the whole length 24, then. I've well, got the full length no. of the lid is 28, and yeah. I've got the length of the, the thin bit is 16. Yeah, so then the, the bit where the string goes through is 8. 8? Well, that would be 8 on 2, 16, 20, that would be 26 instead of 28. Something wrong. Right. The length of the thin bit is 16 mil, but the overall length is 28. 16 from 28, you know, should leave 12. So that, well, that, it's a bit. That shoulder should be 12 mil. No? Thing is, it's covered in gunge, so it's yeah. a bit difficult to tell where it starts to finish. So right. nine, well, nineteen. What have you got? Yes, yeah, nineteen. That you sixteen. So that there. should be nineteen. That should right. be nineteen. Okay. Right. Okay. So nineteen from twenty-eight. So we're looking at nine, are we? Yeah, that's right. Nine. Yeah. Okay. So that'll be nine. Uh, okay. Right. Okay. Right. So next one down is the overall length of the bottle from. The spout all the way down to right down at the bottom, the, the overall length, not including the lid. Yeah. It's 108. Now mine were 116, I think, so they're a bit shorter. Mm -hmm. I wonder if maybe that's why they bored them out a little bit more, you know, opened them out a bit more, because they want a shorter length on them. Okay, the length from the Collar just below the thin well, spout. I'm just, while I've got this open, I've got another yeah. length. The okay. actual depth, depth of the hole. Oh, right. 99. 99, okay. 99, I don't know. I don't actually have a place to put that, but it's fine, yeah. Now that's about right. Mine are 99, well, 100 mil, that's what it is. Okay, so that's that one. And then from the collar down there, okay. no, I'm not touching, right down to the bottom there. So from there, there to, to there. there. Yeah. Okay. 95. 95. Yep. Fingernail type sort of ridge thing mm -hmm. to smooth off that end there to make it fit into the bottle. But they caught probably the middle of this bit here and dug that little sort of concave trench into oh, it yeah. as they've done it there. Yeah. So <laughs> bit of a giveaway. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I, so I, that's that's all the measurements of that one, but we haven't got that outside diameter of the right at the bottom there. Which I would guess would be oh I don't know. Uh, we've got thirty two. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Uh, well, thirty-two. The other side is twenty-nine. So, well, I've got the the widest part is thirty-one. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's pretty pretty straight. Is it? Yeah. So it doesn't actually curl in then. All oh, right. I yeah. thought it curled in a bit. Yeah. There's a little little knobble there, but that might be there. No, I'm thinking about this little.